Dealing with side effects for elderly folks, especially greater than 65, so are definitely different than somebody that's diagnosed at a younger age. Uh, we know from the NS trial alone that it um, is better results in uh, patients having a complete cytogenetic remission in addition to major molecular remission at a faster pace than Gleevec. Um, the down part or downside of Tisigna would be probably that it medicate that that medication, um, patients have to take it twice a day. So they have to kind of adjust to their daily schedule and try to fit in when when will they be able to take the medication. Um, and making sure that they're separating at least 10 to 12 hours uh, um, in time-wise and not taking it together. We learned the hard way with one of our patients who knew that she had to take it twice a day but ended up um, taking it within about six hours time frame and um, accidentally and developed acute pancreatitis. So we've learned now to make sure that we uh, inform the patients in detail that they have to separate it by 10 to 12 hours. Uh, for Tisigna, as far as toxicities, the pancreatitis would be probably the top of the um, toxicity management or teaching point that I like to teach, uh, both the patient and the caregivers. Um, as far as symptoms to monitor would be abdominal discomfort um, and to let us know if, there, if it occurs at any point. Um, and also monitoring of the QTC by doing routine EKG testing baseline, comparing it to one week later and thereafter.